Well, I think it's important to step back a little bit and go over the history of Mississippi. I mean, this is the state um, in 1955 where Emmett Till mm -hmm. was brutally murdered at, at, at the age of about 14 years old for whistling at a white woman. So when you when you talk about the history of Mississippi in, ter in terms of racism, it's important to recognize how damaging her statement was to the African-American community. Now, it's important to also recognize that after she made that statement, she also was caught on camera talking about voter suppression and how important it was that certain people not vote, students, and that those students not vote like the others. Who are the others? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? As someone who wants to be a senator of a state, to talk outright about voter suppression, mm -hmm. and we know she's talking about suppressing the black vote. We saw it in the state of Georgia. We saw, we've seen it all over this country, measures to suppress and quiet the black vote. So I think that the black community will come out uh, in Mississippi uh, and vote against her. And it's my hope that, that the white people of Mississippi also, the good people of Mississippi, say, you know what, we don't want to be known as this, as a, a history, you know, a state that has had this history with racism. We, we want to move forward. You know, we want to look forward as a state. And, and we are not going to support someone who believes this way. But I think that's what Ali's speaking yeah. to. Yeah, no, you absolutely. You see that in Mississippi absolutely. like you saw well, I in hope, Well, my thing is I remain hopeful, and I hope that you do. I hope that you do, because we cannot continue as a country to have the morality of this country be on the backs of black voters. You know, we, you saw it in Alabama. Oh, we hope the black vote comes out, and right. we hope the black... Well, what about the white vote? What about the white vote? Why is it that, that white Americans are okay with electing people who are outright making these statements. Some of them are dog whistles, and some of them are not. Some Many of them are, of them are overt, straight-up racist. Fires. Yeah. So, so stop allowing, stop, you know, sort of relying on black men and black women voters to be the moral backbone of this country. And white people need to kind of step up. 